What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of our Dying Light Exp- I'm not even going to say it's a press preview anymore, I'm just going to say that we're exploring the game at this point because we've pretty much done all of the content that's available. Now I'm just kind of wandering around like unlocking things, although it looks like... No, never mind. I think that's just like an artificial barrier right there. It says I can blow something up over here. It says that there's a trap somewhere. Oh yeah, it's up there. Okay, so how do I make that work? Let's try and blow up one of these traps. Let's see what happens. Ow! No! Yeah, let's climb up here. There we go. I got it to work. We can make it. We've got fingerless gloves. If there's one thing the 80s taught me, it's that fingerless gloves, through fingerless gloves, you can accomplish all things. So what did that do? I don't feel like that really helped me that much. I feel like, meh, I mean, it was it was a nice sound effect, but also I'm gonna fall on the ground and get eaten by a zombie because I can't walk properly. I wish that with the rebar, in order to make it more interesting, it would actually strike through multiple zombies so that you wouldn't have to worry about like, because it, it takes up like all of our strength and now it becomes like, oh look, they came up out of the ground over there too, okay. Ooh. Get dealt with, zombie. Get dealt with. This thing's got decent durability, though, for such a big, hulking, ridiculous weapon. Ooh, but you can get out jab, that's for sure. They throw out that little lightning fist right there. There's no way you're getting out of the way with this weapon. You've got to kind of pre-swing with it, too. There we go. I like it, though. I might actually use this for a little while. Did I get both of them right there? Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. The ability to hit multiple enemies with this thing, like a big old room sweeper, is what I was sort of alluding to, and I'm glad that that actually ended up working. It just seems like the positioning is probably a little bit weird to make it work properly. Should I loot all these? I mean, honestly, there's not that much stuff for me to buy right now. There we go. We'll wipe her out. It looks like we actually get bonus XP for using the rebar. I'm looking up at the top, and every time we hit something with the rebar, it's giving us a bonus, like, 50 or something on top of... Yeah, normally you get like 20 something XP for killing a zombie and it's giving us like bonus XP when we use this. It looks like it's getting a little wrecked up though, so we may have to do away with it in just a minute. Can I throw it? Oh, you can! That was awesome! Okay, so... The theory has been tested. You can throw the giant rebar hammer. And it works pretty well, actually. It did away with this zombie. Ask this zombie right here how well it works. She's missing an arm. I'm not gonna, I don't know if she was missing that arm to begin with, but I'm gonna claim responsibility for it. I'm like, yeah, I threw a rebar hammer at her so hard that she was like, oh my god, I feel like I was just hit by the hammer of Thor, and then I was like, that's what you get. Molnir, destroy her. Meow meow, destroy her. Let's go and, I wanna, let's get some more safe houses unlocked. This lonely zombie just like standing on a hill being contemplative. Like, I'm not contemplative, I'm artistic. I'm artistic and mysterious, and the zombie men love it. Oh, I missed that. Oh, that was terrible. Although I do feel like my feet kind of went straight through that guy. I guess I'll roll him down a hill. I do like the weapons that we're getting at this point in the game. They do seem to be a lot better than the other weapons. How come our weapon, it went into the red. Usually the weapon's appearance changes when it goes into the red, but ours has not. I guess there's only so many ways that a hammer can deform. Honestly, if the... Oh, it looks... Never mind. I think the wood is cracking right there on it. But yeah, it's weird that a hammer breaks from hitting people with it. I've... I don't know. If it has like a plexiglass handle, you shouldn't have any problems ever. Looks like there's a bunch of zombies in here that need to be dealt with. I'm gonna repair my we Yeah, I'm gonna repair my weapon now, and I'm also gonna fight off that rogue hiccup. And then let's get going with the hammer time right here. This could be kind of dangerous for us. Walking blindly into a room that I have no idea how to conquer. There we go. His brains are out. Now we need to put the fuses back in here. Cool. Got our lights all back up and running, although there's blood all over the bit. Nope, never mind. We didn't get any blood on the mattress. Fantastic. Blood on the mattress sounds like one of those books that goes up to, like, the number one bestsellers, but it's just like a total tragedy. It's about some horrible atrocity that happens somewhere in the world. If you're like, blood on the mattress, the three-week leader of the New York Times bestseller list. Like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to read that one. It seems kind of depressing. I might stay away from that one for a little bit. Now what do I have to do? Oh, you've got to plug the holes. 
Oh, that's cool. I, I do like that. I think that that's pretty awesome how, like, every safe house is a little bit different. Although, I don't know if I would trust a bookcase with my safety. I can knock over a bookcase. I just moved. Believe me when I say I can knock over a bookcase post-haste if I need to. Also, how do we leave? Hmm. Is there a hole in the roof, maybe? Oh, there is. Okay, you climb in. All right. Well, that sort of doesn't save us from any of those creepy crawly zombies, though, that are all over the place. We saw one, and if there's one, I bet there's more. I guess. It doesn't look like time really passes until you do quests and stuff. I'm assuming at some point in the game, you're going to get to the spot where it's like, all right, from now on, time will pass normally. But for right now, it seems to give you a pretty wide opening between day and night cycles so that you can loot. This lock says that it's very, very hard, and so I'm going to do my best to slake its locky lust. There it is. Oh, no! That was so close. There we are. Perfect. Ooh. A brick hammer. Yeah! I was going to say, that looks kind of unique. I'm going to swap out the bricklayer's hammer then. And then we'll take... What is Titan? Can I not even loot that? No, loot Titan. I definitely want to loot Titan. Titan seems awesome. So where did that other... The brick hammer's over there. Probably take the French wrench and put it back over there, and then we'll use the knife later. But what does Titan do? I know we can't do any upgrades right now, but Titan seems really awesome. Let me see what it might change. So we've got the brick hammer, then we press F6. That's going to open that. It looked like it let me select that for a second right there. Hmm. Man, we can't even see what it... Can we look at it over here then? Improves durability to level 2 of your melee weapon. I wonder if you can upgrade to a point where it has infinite durability. That's sort of what I, I'm, I'm wondering if that's how the system's going to work. If that's how they've implemented the system, then that's fine that the weapon only has limited repairs. Because then that makes you choose whether it's a weapon you want to keep long term. Or whether it's a weapon you just want to dispose of right now. And then later on, upgrade something else to like infinite durability. It's inside this little guardhouse. What's inside this little chest too? Some batteries. That guy's got a hammer and he's looking kind of spry with it. So let me, let me, I'm going to dehammerize him. And so that hammer is actually not that good. This bricklayer's hammer, though, we're about to get in here. Yep. Y'all better watch out now. I got a bricklayer's hammer. I said I'd hit you with a brick, but you know, I had to go. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Hmm. This combat may not work out for us in the long term. But yeah, if that's how the upgrade system works, then I take back my previous qualms with it. If you can upgrade your weapons to, like, infinite durability, then actually I like that system a lot. Because it means you can either invest in a weapon, or you can just kind of use it up now if you wanted to. But since... Damn. Alright, well, I'm not going to fight everybody on the street here. Let's just keep looking around. Looks like we got, like, a tour bus or something up here. They always like to put stuff behind the seats, so I figure I'll check. What's this over here? Oh. Never mind. Barbed wire fence. Not trying to get little holes. Oh, it was her, I thought somebody shot at me. I heard that noise, and I thought it was somebody shooting at me, but no. It was somebody busting out of this little shed right here. How many Coke cans do you have in your shed? My God. Like, do you just not have a trash bin? How does that happen? Like, maybe you should, like, practice your cleanliness, possibly. Ooh, it looks like they got got before they could get out of here. There's a whole bunch of supplies laying around. I hear something stomping around, something that sounds rather large. Let's have a look real fast, because I do hear something thumping. When something's thumping... Oh, they even had like their own little garden going and everything. Wow, they were like halfway on their way out to self-sustainability. Okay. Well... I think what I may attempt to do now... I don't know. I, I'm really, really torn. That's the thing that I'll say about this. Is I'm very, very torn because I don't really want to end this series. Like, I'd rather just run around the islands getting into mayhem and causing trouble. But, at the same time, I don't want to run around too aimlessly all the time because I don't really have that much interesting to talk about. Like, oh, there he goes. Knocked out. And knocked out again. All of you zombies get out of the way before I cleave through you. Like the medieval warrior that I am. I am Ezio with a hammer. And I smack you repeatedly, Chad Thomas. Chad Thomas is my nemesis. Ever since he shoved my head in the toilets, I have waged a one-man war against Chad Thomas's continued existence. 
Although apparently, according to Homeland Defense, I'm not allowed to word it like that. So, when they came and talked to my mom, they were like, Hey, your son is kind of saying that he wants to end somebody's existence. And then I got in trouble, and I was like, oh my god, and I got grounded, and she took my PlayStation away. It sucked. It was awful. That's enough of that. Let's go for metal part. Oh, let me fix my hammer. Okay, so we have reinforced said hammer with some amount of banding, it looks like. What is this? Can I swim in that? That water seems really, really suspect. Like, if you have open wounds, it seems like you're almost guaranteed to get, like, some type of horrible, horrible... Ooh, there's, like, a little swamp village, too. Let's go over there. Let's go over there and find out. <clears throat> I don't know why I enjoy doing that so much, but I do. It's fun every single time. It also seems to do a hell of a lot of damage. So I have to swing at people like one time after they go down. If I can get that drop kick away, we basically win. We've got another light trap over here. But I gotta activate this one, right? Yeah, there we go. So light trap activated. Just in case we gotta run away from any of the virals later on. I don't think we will though. Alright, so we got that. Let's have a look around. I do like how many lootable things there are and how you can run around. I'm hoping, I mean, I don't know if that's how it's going to be, but it would be really, really cool if there was some kind of, like, not base building, but, like, some kind of upgradable system where you could actually upgrade the safe houses that your friends and stuff stay in. I don't know. Like, just add, because I've got so many parts laying around right now that I have trouble believing that we could actually use them all. Then again, with the upgrade system disabled, maybe that's where I'm supposed to be sinking all these into, and it just hasn't worked out that way so far. Oh, look, we got another thing over here. Yay, more light traps! I don't have any heavy traps, though. I'm going to have to work on that. I think this entire... Oh, actually, it looks like we can get there from the overpass. Ah, that's the secret. I might be able to jump over it with this van, too. I don't know. Let's see. Oop. Or I could fall off the van like a giant noob. Yeah, that's going to be a clipping plane, so they want us to go around that way. Let's see. I like how every single safe house is a little bit different. You've either got to get in differently or you've got to fix it differently, like pushing the bookcase. I like that. They turned it into a thing where it's not like Far Cry 3 where it's just like, all right, kill a bunch of guys. All right, rinse, repeat. Get yourself a new base. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to rip on Far Cry 3 because I love Far Cry 3, but clearing out the safe houses was the same like every single time in that game. I'm going to try and get that hammer out of his hand. There we go. Where did the hammer go? He dropped a hammer. Not on me, but on the ground and... Did he drop it off the cliff, maybe? God, those toe shoes. Those toe shoes. I don't like the feeling of something being in between my two toes. I think that would bother me. Can I walk on this? All right. So we're going to walk on that. Ah. Ow. Okay. All right. Maybe not. I'm going to use that real fast. We have plenty of gauze. I need to make myself a couple more med kits, so... That's more than likely what I'm going to do from here on out. Dropkick her into a wall. The blood spatter. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. That is just ridiculously fun right there. Give the guy a raise who thought of this because it's the best thing in the game so far. Bash that one's brains out. Obviously, we got to secure this place. So let's see if we can do that. I do like the freeform gameplay for securing all of these safe houses and stuff. I, I really am attracted to the concept. Do I have to turn this on? It looks like we're not even actually in the right region. It looks like it's all around behind us, but I'm going to loot first. Also, I need to make some more of our med kits because we are completely and totally out. Yeah. Let's make like five of these. We had a whole bunch, but I've been taking a lot more damage because I've been fiddling around a lot in the last couple episodes, just like playing with things. Mostly falling off buildings. To be honest, the most threatening thing so far to my character has been gravity. Everything else, that one slip and that one fall seems to be very, very dangerous to you. I'd love to get a baseball bat and then make the Zaji Galka still, so maybe I'll look for that. I think there was a bat on one of... Ooh, stay down. You learned how to craft stay down. That sounds pretty awesome. What does stay down do? Oh, so with two-handed hammers, it adds impact to your attacks. Okay. All right. That sounds awesome. We just need to find a two-handed weapon. Watch these weird little sucky tubes around. Don't look. I'm going to have personal time with the sucky tube. It's been lonely in the zombie apocalypse. Leave me alone. I, there's no way. There's no way. I've been in a constant state of just pelvic region pain. Because there is no comfort in this world. It looks like maybe we have to get up on top of the overpass somehow. Maybe climb these rocks over here? That seems about right. Like right th Oh, can I not jump right there? How can I... Let me get up on this rock. Okay, so you can't climb that. So how do we get up there? Maybe climb these beams? No. 
Oh, maybe we have to just kind of like parkour our way across these. There we go. I think we got it now. I think we got it now. We've got a toxic lichen. Okay, I'll take that. Ooh, I like that you can climb the rocks, that these aren't necessarily barriers. Most video games use these as artificial barriers. And as I say that, it'll probably... There we go. I love the fact that you can actually climb up that right there. Like, so many games make it so that those are inaccessible. Oh, you're leaving the playable area. There it is. Okay. So I'm getting myself into trouble. Getting myself into trouble. They might have that locked off, or maybe I was actually right, and this is pretty much it. Let's step back over here. How do I get up there, though? It looks like the access is supposed to be maybe from the left. We're going to solve this, I swear. Or maybe I can jump up right there. Ah, there we go. So I got to clear the Zeds and then turn on the power. And that's precisely what I'm going to do with this hammer. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of them. Okay, so we got problems. We have some very serious... Oh, wow, it's kind of dark in here. Let me turn on my flashlight real fast. I think the UV flashlight also, like, bothers them or something, but I don't know. I guess not. Oh, slow down, Far- oh my god, Fonzarelli got himself a leather jacket, hence the Fonzarelli. I don't know if you could see it in the dark. It was ca I only caught light of a biker jacket for just a second. And you know what, when you can catch light in the dark, that means you probably have really, really talented hands. You should probably try out for the Quidditch team or something like that. I don't know. Grab that right there. Alright. Play Fondle Zombie for a little bit. Repair my hammer again. We probably need to activate this because this is going to be the main transformer. Awesome. So that turned on something. I like that we have infinite flashlight too. As long as we're not using like the special UV ability. I assume that that's supposed to be used to knock out the specials. Like the specials are the ones that come out at night. Maybe that's what it's for. Is you can kind of like set them on fire using it or something. I'm going to get rid of this lady as best I can. Oh, she died from the dropkick. Okay. She wasn't as resilient as I thought she was. Got you. Let my stamina come back a tiny little bit. Give her a kick. There we go. Looks like we get a bit of agility XP for that too. So that might be a great way for us to equitably... Ah, we hit level 5 survivor. I like the split that they have in this game between Survivor is just like your general level and then you've got Agility and Power which are like these separate things that level up in between so that when you have big gaps in between your Survivor ranks it still feels like you're advancing somehow with the rest of it. I like that. What is this? So we can get four new slots for carrying stuff, Elemental Throwing Stars, Barter, so that'll improve our prices. It doesn't look like I can go further over that way. Maybe I'll go with... Sure, let's go with some elemental throwing stars right there. We'll try and get ourselves some ninjutsu stars or something. Be like shinobi. Burning throwing stars. Exploding throwing stars. Oh, I'm an idiot. I was supposed to like crow hop all the way across this. That's how you get up there. But you can also cheese it out over there if you wanted to. You can just climb up these rocks and jump up from that corner if you're bad at jumping like I am. Let me finish this place off first. And once I finish it off... Actually, is it ready to go? Is that all I had to do? I think it might be ready to go. You can't sleep now. Why can't I sleep now? You were leaving the playable area. Okay. So, what's the problem with me sleeping? Huh. I guess it won't let me until nighttime, maybe? Let's see if we can do this jumping puzzle the proper way, because honestly, I kind of brute forced it and I feel guilty about it. That jump seems very, very sketchy. Oh my god, we made it. Okay. Oh. Okay, alright. I'm gonna fall and break my ankles because I guess he didn't grab onto the rebar. Maybe that's not like a climbable thing. The rebar, maybe you have to land on top of it, but you can't like hang from it or something. I don't know. It looks like we pretty much accomplished what we want to accomplish over here, so maybe we'll start heading back to like actual objective areas. Lots of gas pipes around just in case you need weapons. Like, if you're out of weapons, there are things around that you can use. They're not necessarily, like, the best things ever, but they'll work. They're passable sources. I'm going to turn off my flashlight because we are out in broad daylight right now. And so I think we might not actually need it. Let's go back, and I'm actually going to go after the next objective. I'm going to have to skip all the dialogue for this objective, though, so I apologize in advance for that. Can't be helped. It's part of the terms and agreements for actually accepting the coverage of the game. Is this water going to hurt me? Oh, good. It's not zombie water. Oh, if there's zombies in the water, though. Now, that is something that I have a legitimate fear of. Murky water. I don't like swimming in murky water. 
Oh, this guy needs help. Let's go help him. Ooh, did you get bit? Juggernaut. Okay, so I don't know if that's something we can craft or if it's an upgrade. I think it's probably an upgrade. I thought those were skulls for a second, but they're just buoys. Let's go over here and let's see what that is for. We got stay down, so yeah, it looks like it's an upgrade again. Lots and lots of upgrades that unfortunately it won't let me use. Oh, there's collect. Oh, I didn't even know that was a menu right there. Okay, so it looks like there's flags and statues. The flags are, I assume, going to be similar to like Assassin's Creed where you had to run around grabbing flags or something. I don't know. What does Juggernaut do? Improves the durability to level one of your weapon. Okay. That's cool. So I think it goes Juggernaut, then it goes up to Titan, and then there's probably another one after that that like upgrades it even further. I wonder if it resets the repairs too after you do that. A couple of Zeds over there. That one looks like she's gone fishing. I'm going to see what's in this house. I love, I don't know, I, a lot of people have said that they don't like the washed out aesthetic, but I think compared to the saturated colors of Dead Island, I think they did a pretty good job with it, to be honest. I don't know, I felt like, I felt like Dead Island was like blindingly colorful, and it just didn't fit the tone of like a zombie game. Sorry, your door was not accessible, and so I kicked in your window. I realize this probably isn't going to leave the owner very happy with me, but eh, the owner's probably got bitter problems to like deal with. Got some medical gauze right there, anything in the fridge. A little bit of coffee. Does coffee go in the fridge? I thought coffee grounds you just like keep them on a shelf. Maybe I'm not a coffee drinker though, so I wouldn't know. Like I don't even have a coffee pot. I can't even make coffee at my house. So sometimes when people come over, I'm just like, eh? You want a soda? Huh? Nothing in there. I'm also noticing a lot of these bags are empty. And I don't know if that's by... Wow. Looks like they have a half a problem over here. Hmm. Sort of worried something's gonna. There's an ore. Oh yeah, that might be a throwback. Maybe like a reference to. I mean, I don't know. It might be a reference to Dead Island because that was one of the first weapons you got, as I recall, in Dead Island. It was like an ore or something right there. That. What was the name of that guy? Simoy or something like that. Cinnamoy. That was his name. Cinnamoy. I like it when Polynesian people are in video games. I don't bring this up very often, but my family, half my family's Hawaiian and half my family's like Welsh and Irish and stuff. It's kind of the nature of being in the United States. Everybody's got like a million nationalities from wherever they were before. And they all seem to remember them too. But yeah, half my family's Hawaiian. I'm a quarter Hawaiian. And then the other half of the family is all British Isle related locations. So Scottish, Irish, British, Welsh. Although I don't think you can, I don't think you can really tell because one half of the family claims Scottish, the other half of the family claims Welsh. It's my aunt just actually emigrated from Wales to here like a few months ago. She got her citizenship papers and everything. So I guess we can't go through there. We may have hit the end of the road here. What I may try and do is, can we walk down that? Let's go see if we can walk down the river right here. I'm just trying to break stuff at this point. I'm like trying to find bugs and like things that I can exploit. Let's see if we can go up and into this little thing. They've done pretty well, though. Like, I was able to bug all kinds of stuff out in Dead Island, and that was in the release version. So, the fact this game is quite a bit more stable than its predecessor. What happens if I go down here? Ooh. There's music. Looks like we found our way into, like, some kind of bio. This dude's got a car seat in his front yard. Yep, we're in the bayou. Got an ore right there. We got what looks like a military pack right there. Another statue. Huh. No, I don't want you to go up on the roof. I mean, you can if you want. 10 XP is fine for doing something on accident. I mean, it's not like I don't get rewarded, so whenever I do stuff like that, it doesn't really bother me, but... A heavy welder. What does a heavy welder do? Let me see here. Heavy welder is for two-handed weapons, and it looks like it adds fire to the attack, so it's two-handed weapons version of like a fire upgrade. That's pretty sweet though. I'm gonna smash that window and we're gonna see what we can find in here. This place has been fairly lucrative thus far, and so I do want to find everything we can out of this place, even though we can't necessarily use it all just yet. It's still fun to like search for things. These glass windows are kind of a liability in a zombie apocalypse, aren't they? Huh. Did I search this already? Maybe not. 
Got some coffee and a blade. Okay, make a little bit more money. I'm going to travel off this way and see what we can see. There's got to be more stuff in here somewhere. I love exploring. It is one of my favorite things in video games. It's why I'm such a sucker for anything open world. I just like wandering around and finding stuff. And they say that's because dopamine gets released in your brain. Like as a trigger, it rewards you. So your brain has a little bit of dopamine that it'll release whenever you like find something that's useful in a video game or like in real life when you accomplish something. Like for example, let's say that you accomplish something that was lucrative or like fruitful in real life. That's how your brain like internally rewards itself by giving you a little chemical jolt of something that makes you feel euphoric and makes you feel good. And so that's why a lot of people like collectible games, and that's why a lot of people like collecting cards, and a lot of people like playing video games with exploration, or scavenging, or crafting. It's because it's actually a subconscious evolutionary reason. We're encouraged to do that as a species from the time. That's why we've always been, since caveman days, since back in Ladia, or Eldia, whatever, I don't know. My Spanish is real bad right about now. But yeah, since back in the day, that's why we've been so good at adapting and surviving, is because our brains reward us for it. It didn't really do much for me, but let's go around this way. I think this way might actually be a little bit safer. This is where we rescued that guy over here. And while I travel, I'm going to go ahead and break the episode off right here. Please, please, please let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this. If you don't find it entertaining to watch me walk around in circles, we can obviously finish the press demo, go do this quest, and move on to something else. But if you're interested in watching me wander around and just kind of like test the edges of the map, then I can turn this into like an extended kind of mini-series. I don't mind it. I have fun playing the game, so... It's a blast for me if it's a blast for you. I will see you all later. Hi do everybody, and I will see you in the next episode, which is totally getting recorded, regardless of what the comments say. Bye!